Um, just to want to recall the last shot, which is which kind of in, invokes another incident in the film where these people come from Bombay to take Falke, and he takes a he takes he uh, he tears his dhoti and he burns it. Right? Are you invoking the same thing towards? The the last one is uh, see in Banaras. Uh, we had this uh, miniature, which was uh, there's a person uh, from. Uh, he was a professor of design, so he had already made a miniature of the Banaras with these small pieces of uh, stone. So, and all these uh, students from the Srishti, they were also concocting or representing the childhood memories of the children. So I also got excited. So this image about that uh, he declares, announces the children dead. And uh, he tears his dhoti and burns it and makes a circle of the ashes hmm. around the children and say, you are dead for me. So I, 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 this image always haunted me, you know, when I was doing a fiction, I mean, writing a script, I said, this is the key image in Banaras for me, you know, like the, it is the height of the emotional, uh, you know, like, like Raja, Raja Harichandra's theme, emotional outburst. So I also took, took a stone uh, kind of a piece. So I one stone bar and two circular pieces that represent the Falke's face. Then I made a chita where the Mahadev is uh, lying. Then you have these five small temples. They are, represent his five children. And then uh, he tears a dhoti. So it's like a ritual image representing that event that must have happened, you know. Okay. So it's just a ritual, you know. Now, for me, it, it has an emotional representation, you know. So, I mean, so I need not communicate it with the people. But for me, it's a ritual, you know. So the whole, uh, actually doing this activity in Banaras, for me, it's a ritualistic, you know. You know. And uh, if, if it becomes a film, it's uh, just a, uh, you know, offshoot kind of a thing, you know. But for me, it's a ritualistic process. You know. as, as part of this process, um, this projection of Palke's films in different locations in Bananas, especially the last one on the cart and the burning of the screen, I mean, what are you trying to invoke over there? So it was a uh, basic thing. Thing is, like uh, he uh, makes his film Raja Arichandar in Nasik and Trambakeshwar. He is representing uh, uh, Kashi in Trambakeshwar. Now, for him, you know, like uh, he is actually when he is representing it there and shooting it there, somewhere I have a, some kind of a thing that you can't escape the fiction when you get into the actualizing process of it. So he has to end up in kind of a kashi, you know, you know to know what actually without uh, having been through, he was actualizing. So he has to go to kashi, you know. So the whole thing about uh, that projecting the Raja Harichandar image yeah, yeah. into the Harichandar Ghat itself. So it was 100 years of cinema. So for me also, like I'm, I mean, I have spent my youth in marketing and advertising. <laughs> So for me, it was a very big thing that, uh, you know, it's 100 years of cinema and I'm going to project Raja Harichandar, the first Indian film, on the Harichandar Ghat walls and the people are going to watch it and I'm going to talk about the 100 years of cinema and talk about the Raja Harichandar story. So for me, it was a, uh, something big, you know, that I was being, I mean, what government of India should have done that they should have celebrated 100 days of the cinema in the Harichandar Ghat and I am doing it. You know. <laughs> so did you at any point explore this possibility since you have so many stories of Falke and you have been researching on him for several years, you have got a lot of information. So did you explore this possibility that maybe you could actually stage, a, you know, recreate a kind of a time from that era, give life to the actual character of Falke and we could, you know, Explore time mean, in, stage in, in time in, means stage in that it. sense, even if it is for a shorter section of your entire documentary. But you know, we could yeah. have got more feel about it. Yes, I agree. Um, but uh, see, when I started, I started to do a fiction film, the start to stage, 
mean the actors in contemporary times representing this so-called Falke in past. But to the, while I was researching and doing this kind of exercises, which is uh, recalling the past and uh, not pretending that it's real, I somewhere found that I'm closer to that aesthetics rather than the pure fiction when you pretend and uh, communicate a certain kind of a feeling. That school of staging, somewhere, you know, I, I mean, even when I did Om Darbada, I was not from that school. You know, that uh, it means creating surplus reality. See, what you're seeing is a reality, you know. What I am more interested in the ideas, you know, you know, not creating an illusion, you know, this is Falke, you know, look at him. No, that's not my uh, aesthetics. You know. So I prefer, uh, like I have a principle that when you make a fiction, do it like a documentary. When you do a documentary, do it like a fiction. You know. I like that kind of aesthetics. You know. And so that's why I, you know, I don't believe in the kind of a fiction film that we do in the mainstream. When pretending that this is 1900, you know, that I won't believe.